hello, white people. A lot of people are very pissed off about these gas prices and how quickly the gas prices are going up. People can't adjust their budgets, <laughs> especially people in the middle and, and the bottom. And right now, wages to flip hamburgers are higher than people who work in skilled industries. That doesn't make any sense. A lot of stuff doesn't make any sense. But let's try to get to the bottom of why gas prices are going up. This is not going to be perfect because I've only spent a couple of hours researching, and I'm sure it's going to take a lot more. And, and plus, this is not my area of expertise, so I'm going to screw it up. So if I screw anything up, please help me out. All right, so when Biden got into office, his administration banned leases to oil companies to develop areas to drill. Well, there's already companies out there with current leases that were drilling oil. And um, then... About a year later, Trump, or Biden was selling more leases than Trump did. Is that going to affect our gas and oil supply? I don't know, because it takes years for companies to develop areas for, to drill oil. So, so what kind of assumptions can we make out of that? Um, were these leases brand new leases for undeveloped places? Were these leases for places that are, are, had already been developed? I can't find any specific information on that. And then what about refineries? I'm reading a lot that refineries were closed down because during the stupidity 19, demand went down and places, you know, when you can't afford to pay your people, you got to slow down your business or even shut it down. And then some refineries are under, um, are having some repairs because of a fire near New Orleans. And, um, and then I've read articles that, uh, that some refineries are working at 90% capacity. There's so much conflicting information, but let's check out dailyenergynews.com. This is an article dated March 5th, 2022, to see if we can find anything, any little nuggets of information. Shell buys Russian oil at a bargain price, March 5th, 2022. Well, why would Shell be buying Russian oil at a bargain price or even buying Russian oil at all if there's supposed to be some sort of ban on Russian oil? Well, Shell PLC has snapped up a cargo of Russian crude at a bargain price, ending a self-imposed embargo on Russian oil by the international energy industry. Self-imposed embargo, eh? Shell bought 100,000 metric tons of Russia's flagship Urals crude on Friday, according to people familiar with the transaction. It paid $28.50 a barrel below the price of international benchmark Brent crude, the widest discount on record. London-listed Shell bought the crude from Trafigura Group PTE Limited, one of the biggest commodity traders and largest exporters of Russian oil. Trafigura had failed to sell the cargo this week before drawing a bid from Shell after dropping the price to a massive discount. As Western oil and gas companies this week raced to distance themselves from Russia in the wake of the invasion of Ukraine, Shell said this week it would exit its joint ventures with Russian energy giant Gazprom PJSC. A person familiar with the company's trading strategy said Shell was still buying Russian oil to plug into refineries and petrochemical plants while it looked for alternative sources. The U.S. and its allies left energy out of the sanctions imposed on Moscow in response to the invasion. What did you just say there, Susie? The U.S. and its allies left energy out of the sanctions imposed on Moscow in response to the invasion. Okay, so these increased gas prices have absolutely nothing to do with Russia and Ukraine. So that it right there is a big, fat, hairy lie. The oil industry has decided to, to ban them, to put an embargo on them, not the government, not the West, not its allies. So it's not government, it's, again, corporations making these decisions. Because corporations, they, you know, they're very cutthroat. And so what they've done in this situation is they've forced Russian oil... Um, so I guess people who are selling Russian oil to lower the price and uh, sell at a discount. So why, why, what is this target on Russian oil anyway? 
Why does Russian oil have a target on its forehead? Why do these other companies want to... It, see, this... It's all outside of the government. It's all outside of us. It's these corporations who have way too much power and, over industries, and they just jack up the price of stuff independent of supply and demand. But you can only do that for so long. But how deep are the pockets of these companies? And reading on, however, refiners went further shunning Russian crude as they struggled to get funding and ships to export Russian oil. Self-sanctioning has taken a chunk out of global supplies, pushing prices for international benchmark Brent up to $113.80 a barrel. Traders say it is causing a backup in Russia's energy supply chain, prompting refineries to cut back production. It's all confusing, too, so... All right, white people, thank you so much for listening. I look forward to your thoughts below.